you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review on iTunes. This is Radio Random Network. Find us on the web at www.radiorandomnetwork.com. You're backstage with hashtag RDM on Radio Random Network. Now, here's the host, hashtag RDM, Russell Devin McLean. Oh, man, it's April 26, 2016. This is Backstage with hashtag RDM right here on the Radio Random Network. And I am your host, hashtag RDM, Russell Devin McLean, and we're live via Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and our official home on the web, RadioRandomNetwork.com. I want to thank you so much for tuning in tonight. And as always, if this is your first time listening to the show, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. And I want to send a shout out to all the faithful listeners that tune in every week. I have a great show here for you tonight. It's going to be awesome because I'm going to be talking with not one, but two up and coming recording artists from the country music world. That's right. I'm going to be talking with Mr. Travis Rice about his latest single, Women, Water, and Whiskey, something everybody's going to love, especially now it's, you know, summertime. So it, it kind of goes along with, uh, you know, the, the summer theme, so to speak. And uh, I'm also going to be talking with Louisiana native Dustin Sonye. He's going to be calling in um, probably around the uh, 7.30 mark or so. He's going to be talking about his latest album and his brand new single titled Whiskey Makes Her Miss Me. And uh, I've been following this guy on, on Facebook because naturally I'm, I'm from right here in Louisiana. He's a traditionalist. If you love traditional country music, this guy, he, he he's carrying the banner, so to speak. And um, you, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to totally enjoy it. I, I promise you. It's going to be a great show. Also, just a friendly reminder, um, you can subscribe to Radio Random Network on iTunes and Google Play and other popular platforms by, by simply visiting RadioRandomNetwork.com and clicking the subscribe subscribe tab at the top of the page and um and if you would like to support our weekly shows and keep it free for all of our listeners there's many ways you can do so you can rate and review the show on itunes that helps with the outreach and you can become a uh, monetarily monthly patreon by visiting uh, radio random networks patreon page that that's online and um Basically, uh, just go to RadioRandomNetwork.com, click on the support tab at the top of the page, and uh, it, it'll give you all kind of great ways to support the show and keep it free for all of our listeners. Before we go on, I, I do want to make mention that uh, the 11th Annual People's Podcast Awards are coming up, and I want to encourage everyone uh, to visit PodcastAwards.com and nominate backstage with hashtag RDM. Uh, just simply go to the music category, type in the name of the show, and type in the URL, which is uh, radiorandomnetwork.com forward slash backstage. Uh, you can find that and all the links we talk about on today's show by visiting the show notes for tonight's show. And uh, that ought to be up here uh, shortly. And uh, with all of that said, um, if you are a subscriber to our newsletter, and you can also find that on the website, you, you know now that next week I'm going to be talking with the one and only Daryl Worley. That's right. Daryl's going to be here talking about his brand new single titled Rainmaker and uh, all his great things that he's to these days. Should be a great show. And uh, all right, guys. I do it every week. It's time now for the Potter and Family Spotlight. And this week, I'm going to be spotlighting one of my new favorite shows. It's called The Nick's Cast. It's it's three guys named Nick, right? They're around a microphone. They're talking about movies, comics. Uh, you name it, they're talking about it. Very entertaining. Check them out. 
Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Internet, and all the pods at sea. This is the NixCast podcast. It's a podcast about questions. Hard questions. Soft questions. Luxurious questions. Questions. We answer them. All three of us. Myself, Z, and my friends. Best friends. T and G. So, give us a listen over at thenixcast.com, and if you have a question you want us to answer, you can send it over to nick at thenixcast.com. Thank you, and good night. Y'all be sure and go check out the Nixcast podcast over at uh, SoundCloud, and uh, they're also on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. By the way, guys, we're also on that SoundCloud. You can give us a follow. You can follow us on SoundCloud as well. We're we're all over the place these days. And uh, before I move on, though, I just I just want to uh, address a few things here. First and foremost, everybody's been asking about the Russell and Mud Tooth show. I've been playing a lot of music here lately, and Mud Tooth has been doing the Mud Tooth thing. So uh, it, it's been hard for us to to get together and 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 do a show. So Russell and Mud Tooth is over with. There will be no more Russell and Mudtooth show. Now, I hate doing that because me and old Mudtooth, we have some great conversations. But, but there's a but. There will be a Mudtooth show. And it'll probably be out probably next week. We're going through the motions, getting everything ready right now. So, you know, if you subscribe to that newsletter at RadioRandomNetwork.com, get the update on uh, where you can listen to the Mudtooth show and get all the Mudtooth-isms, so to speak. You know, Mudtooth thought of the day and there's no telling what that man is say so very entertaining always entertaining for the mud tooth by the way i want to send a uh, uh thoughts and prayers to the family and friends of prince uh sad news come from the uh, music world last week very devastating uh the passing of prince and also for all the wrestling fans out there china Joni laurie and uh just uh quick uh note here that uh you know china was actually uh i'd reached out to her uh manager a couple of months ago and we was she was supposed to be coming on the show in a couple of weeks but uh, she passed as well thoughts and prayers to china uh man 2016 has been mean to the uh the music world da- david bowie uh merle haggard i mean this it's just sad. Very sad. They're in a better place, and uh, Godspeed. All right, y'all, from small town bars to the big stage, my first guest tonight has been paying dues and earning his stripes by sharing the stage with the likes of country music superstars such as Red Atkins, uh, Colt Ford, and, and many, many others. Joining me tonight, right here on Backstage with hashtag rdm to talk about his brand new album i'm talking to none other than mr travis rice travis how you doing friend man i'm doing just fantastic would you believe i'm actually on the water right now on the water right now as we speak you're on the water <laughs> yeah, i am on my boat on the lake right that now. that is awesome friend that is awesome so yeah what, well what, i mean what, you know, you're fishing i mean what's going on you just you just relaxing well, you know, we've been, well, yeah, I mean, mostly just getting my boat out for the first time this year, you know, testing everything out. We did a little fishing earlier. Um, we are uh, just watching the sun go down right now as we speak. But, uh, yeah, we've been hanging out the uh, last couple of hours out here, like I said, just trying to blow the dust off everything. Mostly this is the first time we've got to get the boat out. But, uh, I mean, it's pretty much just, uh, you know, like the song. It's women, water, and beer right now. Amen and, to uh, that. We're having a good yeah, getting it kicked off right, you know. Yes, indeed. Well, man, you got you got some great things going on. Uh, first and foremost, right off the bat, uh, uh, let's talk about the new Sam single, um, "Women, Water, and Beer." Uh, and if you don't mind sharing, g- give us a little insight and inspiration behind the song itself. Well, I mean, basically, uh, you know, I, I think without meaning to, I just did. Um, we, uh, I mean, literally, it's, it's just a song about what we enjoy. Uh, you know, I literally grew up, I'm out here on Watts Bar, which is my lake, um, back here in East Tennessee. Uh, I grew up five minutes from here. And, uh, you know, that's what we do, man. Whenever we get free time, I come down here. 
Um, you know, we, we launched upon and we go down to Sand Island, which is our hangout, um, you know, and we literally just just hang out with, uh, you know, with good friends and uh, good music, and we do it all day long, long all summer long. And uh, so, I mean, it really the song, I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of, of uh, you know, pay a little homage, I guess, to that, um, you know, and let the simple folks in the country, because I know we're, we're not the only ones that do that, you know, and that it's pretty much countrywide. There's small towns everywhere that, somehow find a way to have a blast whenever there's nothing else going on. And so we just kind of wanted to put that in a song. And, you know, we didn't get too complicated with the way we said it. We pretty much just said it the way it is. And, um, you know, I feel like we we really got what we were shooting for with uh, women, water, and beer. And uh, we, you know, like I said, we just kind of encompassed the whole uh, atmosphere and idea behind uh, simple southern good times, you know. So that, that – Hopefully we hit the mark anyway. That's what we were shooting for. That's awesome. Well, that's what it's all about. It's simple, real, something everybody can relate to. So you hit the, hit, uh, the nail right on the head with that. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Honestly. That's what we were shooting for. And, uh, you know, everybody uh, back home at least seems to really be enjoying it. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's really just a three-word autobiography of who I am. Um, you know, we can take uh, women, water, and beer and have fun here. Yes, indeed. Now you're still paying dues, you know. I mean that, and you, you're still up and coming. I mean, you got to uh-huh. you, You're doing great, but now you grew up in a, in a small town in Tennessee. But but tell me, what what was the local music scene like uh, around your hometown growing up, man? Man, in Tennessee, I mean, really the South, but especially Tennessee, with us being neighbors to Nashville, the music scene is just amazing. Um, you can go in any little hole in the wall anywhere in this in this state and you know where I grew up here in the outside of Crossville. Any little hole in the wall you go in, you're gonna hear a good band. You know, I mean you're gonna you know, and it really pushes you if you wanna if you decide that's the lifestyle you wanna live, you know, it pushes you to be so much better um than it would be if you didn't have, you know, that if you weren't constantly surrounded by that. Um so I mean we travel a lot, you know, into other parts of the country. And uh, you tell somebody that you're a country music artist, you know, in uh, Utah or in Reno, Nevada, or somewhere like that. I mean, they just automatically think that you're amazing because, you know, you do that. But you tell somebody that you're a country music artist in Tennessee, they say, yeah, so are, you know, 12 of my friends. And so you, I guess you kind of have to prove yourself a little more in this part of the country just because everybody's so used to it. You know, they're so exposed to it and stuff. So... Um, but as far as the music scene goes here, it's great. Um, you know, like I said, you can go in any hole anywhere and hear a great band. And, uh, and that's what I love about it. You know, is I've always just, you know, even before I tried to be a, an artist, um, I was always fascinated by music and always just drawn to it, you know? And so to be able to literally step out my front door and hear great music everywhere I turn, and it really, uh, you know, just, it makes me feel very blessed to be born and raised in this part of the country to where that's an option for me. Right, right. Well, you're talking about growing up in a hometown and uh, in your hometown and the music scene everywhere you go, pretty much good music and everything. But uh, who yeah. were some of your who were some of your influences a- as you were uh, coming along, so to speak? Oh, God. I mean, everybody that knows me knows Garth Brooks is the reason I get into the business. Um, you know, that man is just, I mean... Well, I mean, everybody knows, uh, you know, what who Garth Brooks is. He's, he's a class act. He's, you know, everything that you would hope to want to be. And so I grew up, uh, like I said, he's the one that really got me in the business. But uh, Travis Tritt, Randy Travis, Alabama, Alan Jackson, all the 90s guys, man. I just, you know, I'm a product of the 90s. I'm 28 years old. So, I, you know, my real development stage was in those 90s. And uh, Black Hawk is one of my favorites. So, uh, so all the 90s bands and all the solo acts and the duos, you know, Brooks and Dunn, um, it was just, gosh, it was such a great time, uh, I think, you know, which I'm sure every, you know, I'm sure everybody says that, you know, whatever shaped them as a person, whatever right. uh, decade of music, you know, whenever they were in the most influential stage. Uh, but so, yeah, all of the 90s guys just really shaped me. And, and I think, you know, that there's still a lot of that essence in our music. Uh, actually, several of the, uh, you know, 
radio people and the the reviewer, you know, the uh, magazine and journal people that we've talked to, you know, they've kind of compared us to, well, they've compared us to Travis Tritt and Brooks and Dunn mixed with some of the newer guys like Jayco and or, um, you know, um, even uh, I mean, we've had a little bit of FGL thrown in there, but yeah. Kind of a mixture, though, of you know those '90s guys with kind of the newer sound of these contemporary guys, you know. And uh, so it's it's actually a really it's a big compliment to me to know that they're they're hearing that in our music, you know, they're hearing that uh, kind of where I come from in it because I don't want to lose that. And uh, so it's a it's a really big compliment to me. Yeah, I hear some you know I hear some Travis Tritt in that, or I hear some Brooks and Dunn in that. It just gosh, it just really makes my day. You know, the music from the 90s, uh, you're talking about Blackhawk, Travis Tritt, uh, Garth Brooks, all those guys, it was an energy that just kind of sucked you into the radio. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and also their well, live absolutely. performances. You know what I mean? I mean, they, they were oh, trailblazers, God, yeah. man. But, um, yeah, that's when country, you know, kind of took its, you know, took its show. We talked about the live side of things. That's when country really came alive as far as the performance side of things. And that really, you know, I think that's what excites people about it. Most definitely. Most definitely. Well, Look, man, I, you know, right, you're, you're on the road to success. You, you got it going on, you know, you, great reviews for the song and everything. But, but from your experiences so far, what are some challenges that you had to face? Uh, well, I mean, honestly, it kind of goes back to what I said earlier. The challenges were in, in a part of the country that everybody's so good. Um, you know, like I said, growing up as a neighbor to Nashville, Literally, like I said, everywhere you go, there's great musicians, there's great artists, there's great songwriters. Every time you step outside your door, and that you know has become a huge challenge to stand, a, you know, stand out in a crowd of such good musicians and songwriters. Um, and that's honestly probably the biggest challenge that we've had. Is just uh, you know, it sound, it almost sounds negative, but a flooded market. You know, the market here, it, like I said, because everybody is. Everybody comes from all over the world to this area to try to do this business. And uh, so, to, you know, you're literally up against the best of the best every time you go out on the road uh, or every time you go out, you know, especially in the South. So that, that's really been our biggest challenge. And, you know, and I feel like we're finally, we finally kind of belong. You know, we've worked our tail off. Um, you know, I've really put in the, the hours and the time and my team has really put in the hours and the time to take us to that next level to where we're starting to stand out above the, you know, some of the, um, some of the other talent around, which is just, you know, super exciting. So, um, yeah, I would have to say that, you know, that's really it. Cause everybody in the business has been so good to us. Um, you know, I mean, honestly, uh, I, I have no complaints or no, uh, you know, nothing negative to say about anybody that we have uh, come across with that we earned it they gave us the opportunity you know and so i mean that that's the great thing about it but the challenge has been just you know you have to you really have to get your butt in gear and and earn it because there are so many talented people in the business you're right about that man i mean and, and it's kind of like that everywhere these days you know especially on the music scene and uh, with all of that said, Travis, before I let you go here today, I got one more question to ask you. And, and that is, I mean, you talked about the Garth Brooks and the Brooks and Dunn's and the Travis Tritt and Blackhawk and, and Little Texas, who you shared the stage with. But if you could choose an artist from the past or the present, who would you choose to work with? Oh, I mean, that's hands down Garth. Um, you know, if, if I could, uh, you know, I mean, if I even just anything on stage or studio or anything with Garth, I mean, that would be a dream come true. I mean, gosh, just getting to see him perform, uh, you know, uh, Nashville, we had a bad flood, you know, in town a few years back. Most people have heard of it. You know, it was a big deal. And Garth come through and done the, uh, you know, the charity event with, he did like, gosh, he did like nine shows or no, no it was like 13 shows in nine days or something. It was crazy. I went to one of them. That was my first time getting to see him. And just even being, you know, in the audience with a dream come true. So I can't imagine, you know, I, mean, I think that would be kind of the pinnacle of, uh, you know, of my uh, dream come true would be to collaborate or do something with, uh, you know, with the man that, you know, has made it what it is. Most definitely. That's awesome, friend. L- guys, for more information about Travis, such as how to pick up your copy of his brand new single, uh, Water, women, and beer. Did I say it right, or is it? I'm getting mixed up here. The, the name of the single is uh, "Water, 
no women water and beer. I do apologize, Travis. <laughs> This, there this, we go. this is the most most nerve wracking crap I've ever done in my life, but it, this live thing, but it's working out for me. But anyway, well, I mean, sure to yeah, check the words are kind of interchangeable. As, as long as you get all three of them, it don't matter what order you put them in. Just there you go, you friend. There you go. Just visit <laughs> TravisRiceMusic dot com for more information about Travis, such as tour dates and and uh, new music and whatever else. Travis, thank you so much for joining me, my friend. It was an honor to talk with you. And I wish you well, well on your musical journeys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for having me, man. It's been a pleasure. Hey, hey man, anytime. I look forward to talking to you. We'll get you back on here in the near future here. And uh, we'll, you know, with some more time. And uh, we'll, we'll talk more about the songwriting process. Because that's something I would like to, uh, you know, I would like to delve into with you. The creative side of, uh, yeah. of what you do. But uh, we'll set that up with... Uh, with Miss Nicole and, and, and all my friends over there at, uh, at PLA. And uh, with all of that said, don't go anywhere, friends. We'll be right back with the one and only Dustin Saunier. All right, that was Dustin Saunier with Whiskey Makes Her Miss Me. Man, I love that song. That is, that's like uh, uh, the traditional, you know, traditionalist. I, I love that, the, the good country music, some stuff you can relate to. And, um... Uh, with all of that said, right now on the line with me from Lafayette, Louisiana, the one and only Mr. Dustin Saunier. Dustin, how you doing tonight, brother? Wonderful, man. How are you? Uh, we're doing okay. It's a little nerve wracking because we're doing this thing live now. But other than that, everything's going uh, well. I, I have to watch what I say. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, brother. It's all good. I I, I didn't put the. Uh, it doesn't put the explicit uh, sign up, so you, you can say whatever you want, friend. We're over the Internet. It's going to be a good time. Yes, indeed. So, man, you, you just got back from Texas, correct? Yes, sir. We uh, we started the radio tour in Texas uh, last week, and we've been all over uh, northeast Texas, all around Dallas and all that stuff, and uh think I go up to Oklahoma and do some stuff up there and then work our way down to South Texas. You know, we're just uh, we're out there hitting the road and trying to make it happen. Yes, indeed, man. And that, that's a lot to go in that goes into that. And and, and speaking of which, I mean, it, it, you don't have to go in full detail, but give us a little bit of insight on on what it's like to, uh, putting a, a a radio tour, a promotional tour together, and, and, and trying to get your name out there in, in other states. Yeah, it, it, it's really nerve wracking, man. Because uh, you know we. We start, you know, at at, uh, at one point and work our way kind of back towards where I live, which is in Lafayette, and uh, um, it, it's countless hours. You know, you drive for ten hours one way, start start the interviews, drive another couple hours, do another station, drive another couple hours, do a station, you know, do three or four a day, and then hopefully you you have enough energy to drive to the town that you start the next station in the next morning, you know, to where you can sleep there and maybe get a few hours to hop up and go do it again you know most definitely most definitely now with all of that said uh let's talk a little bit about the album that uh you got out now and you got the single whiskey makes or miss me now i'm sure this ain't your first rodeo i mean you you have uh this is is this your third album correct now, this is my uh my second album your second uh, album okay i've had some singles Yes, sir. We, we've had some singles that we've released between the two albums, which first album was released in 2008, and um, it just kind of took me a while to kind of find the songs that I wanted, write the songs that I needed for this record, because I didn't want to put anything out that I was just okay with. I wanted to be proud of what I was doing, and um, it took us a long time, but like I said, we put out some singles in between the, um, the two albums, but... Uh, this is the first full fledged album I've done in eight years. You know, it, it's uh, so we've been honky talking for be ten years. I have the band together this month, so uh, it, it's it's been a long road, but I'm uh, I'm excited to where things are going. Most definitely. Now, uh, with that said, and the name of the band is the Wanted, correct? It's Dustin Saunier and the Wanted. So, yes, sir, the Wanted. Uh, we're just a bunch of old outlaws that have been. Rode hard and been doing this for way too long, and I said that's the perfect name for the band, the Wanted. Yes, indeed. Now, Dustin, how old are you? 
I am 29 years old. Just turned 29 uh, last month, I believe, month before. <laughs> now, how long have you been in the live music scene here in Louisiana? Um, like I said, I, I started my band in 2006, but I was playing with other guys around here before that. I think I started playing professionally when I was 13 or 14 years old with a, a Christian country artist. Uh, we were doing, you know, the, the gospel fairs and all that stuff. And then we got into high school, slowed down a little bit, and I was playing just every once in a while with some guys. And then kind of realized, oh, the girls like the guys in the band, so <laughs> we're going to start this now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put a band together, and we've been at it ever since you know um not the same guys i've you know i've had new guys come in and this and that over the years but you know one guy's built me for i think eight years man so it's been real great and that's all from dustin now give us a little bit of uh insight behind uh the the creative uh side of uh whiskey makes or miss me basically uh what, what's what's the uh the backstory on the song well, the, the song's really just about a guy sitting in a bar, and this other guy walks up to him, and he sees this woman across the bar, and he hits him and says, man, look at that woman. She sure is fine, and I think I got a chance with her. I want to buy her a drink. And he doesn't realize that he's talking about the other guy's ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, what have you. That's his ex across the bar that he's talking about, and... Being a whiskey drinker myself, I drink a certain kind of whiskey that not a whole people drink around here. And uh, I thought about it like, well, if I'm not, I'm not going to help this guy out at all, I'm going to make him get her a shot of that whiskey that I drink. And when he brings it to her, she's going to know it's me. It's not from him, you know. And um, I, I've been playing with the idea of that song for probably two years. And one day I put my little boy to bed and I walked outside and said, I'm going to finish the song. Lit a cigarette and started uh, started writing it. In about forty five minutes, the song came out. You know. Yes, indeed. Now that you know, Dustin, I, I don't I don't get on here and promote myself or anything, but I'm down here in South Louisiana. I've been playing music since I was about sixteen years old, fifteen years old, something like that. Basically, we got the same story, except for uh, you your your two albums ahead of me. I haven't had an album yet, but. Man, <laughs> as a musician myself, uh, you know, that's a very that's a very deep deep uh story for a, a song. Is is that like a personal experience for you or is that something that just comes from your imagination? I'd like to say it was a personal experience because that would be pretty cool, but no, it was just it kind of just came to me and I I applied it to my personality and who I am and how I would handle that situation and the song came out of that. Well, Dustin, I predict here probably in the next couple of years, you're you're probably going to be elsewhere, and I'm 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 very thrilled to have you here on the show because that's that's what they call in the music business the it factor, and that's something that you're you're born with, you're blessed with. Not every you can't teach that side of it, that, that songwriting aspect, the, the the creative aspect to create a story like that. That that's awesome, man, and and it makes me look at the song in a whole new way. Yeah, well, I, when we recorded the song. I, I, I didn't hear it the way we actually recorded it. And the band kind of just, while I was on a smoke break, the band kind of put their heads together and said, we're doing it this way. And I walked back in to sing it, and it came out that way. It kind of got darker for me. And it's just, it, I, I'm proud of the way it came out. It was just so cool to see it kind of become its own. You know, something from my mind became its own right in front of me. That was really cool. Most definitely. Now, with all of that said, Dustin, before I let you go here, I know you, you're getting ready for showtime. Uh, where, where are you guys at tonight? Um, I, I do a house gig every Tuesday night at Cowboy Saloon in Lafayette, and uh, we start in about a half hour, I think. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome, man. And with all of that said, Dustin, yes, uh, before I let you go, because, you know, I, I follow you on Facebook, and I discovered you on Facebook, as a matter of fact, Um you you have a uh, you have a very traditional uh, feel to you, a traditional side as far as uh, country music, pretty much carrying the banner, so to speak. And with all of that said, Dustin, do you mind giving us a little insight on on your thoughts as far as uh, what you think about today's uh, music industry? Well, I tell you, I, I 
I've been doing this for a long time, and I, I'm not 100% you know, a big fan of a lot of the stuff that's coming out just due to the fact that I'm such a traditional type guy. You know, I was brought up on that, and I, I feel that country music is about stories and about people being able to relate to it. And a lot of the stuff that's out now, I, I don't think, you know, maybe you know some people can, but for the most part, the working man in general, you know, guy that goes goes to work every day, comes home, and has that typical problems that everybody goes through. They don't understand some of those things. And I, I feel as though I, with my music, I, I want to keep it, you know, songs that people can relate to and people live. Because if, if, if they feel as though they're living what you're, you're singing, they're going to like the song. And that's kind of the whole reason people like me are in it. I'm just I'm out here trying to help somebody. I can make someone else feel that they're not the only one going through that. You know that that's that's the best thing for me. It, that's the, the the biggest high you can get is that maybe you you can help someone. You know, and that I just uh, that that's kind of where I want to go with it. Now, to me, it doesn't matter wherever where the rest of it's going. I'm going to stay steady with what I'm doing. Most definitely. Well, brother, let me tell you, you're on the way. You you got it going on. And uh, as lo as long as you could keep a, a hand on on DJ Fuzzy over there, I, I think you'll be all right. <laughs> I think, I think right. we got a good grip on him. I don't think he's uh he's gonna get too crazy. <laughs> that, that boy is wild, and he. A uh, quick story before I let you go. We we go to play a uh uh it's a shindig there for LSU. It's about six hundred sorority girls, right? This fool breaks out like a nineteen seventies Telecaster. It's like the Paisley, the kind James Burton used to play, you know. Oh yeah. It, and and he's up there on stage with us. I mean, you'd have thought he was a part of the band. I, I believe I owned it at some point in time in the last five or six years. I think I owned it for a little while. <laughs> oh, come on. That boy is something else. But hopefully maybe we can all I get together so, and man. make I, some music sometimes, you know. that's That'd be awesome. That'd be wonderful. Yes, man. We'll get you down here. Some of these clubs over here, you can come be a, a, a special guest of ours. You know what I mean? That'd be fantastic, man. Most yeah. definitely will. Well, Brother Dustin, I'm going to let you go, let you get ready for showtime. I want to thank you so much for uh, joining me here tonight, friend. And uh, with all of that said, for everybody listening out there on iHeartRadio, and I want you to go and visit Dustin's website. I think it's Dustin Sonier. Is it DustinSonier.com, correct? Yes, yes, sir, it is. And uh, you can also pick up the single on uh, iTunes and uh, pretty much all major streaming uh, outlets out there that uh, – be sure and go uh, download it, support this guy, support local music in general. And uh, with all of that said, Dustin, Absolutely. it was great talking to a, a native Louisiana uh, musician here tonight. I haven't done this in a long time. They usually call me from uh, either Nashville or California. But uh, it was awesome talking to your friend, and hopefully we'll get together soon and make some music. Well, thank you very much for having me, man. I was, I'm, I'm, like, I'm excited, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, anytime, man. We'll talk at you soon, Dustin. You be careful out there on the road, buddy. Sounds good. All right, man, we'll catch you down the road. Brother Dustin Saunier, check him out. That dude is is phenomenal, by the way, guys. I just want to let you know. Uh, turn and look him up Facebook. Follow his, uh, you know, follow his Facebook page, uh, Dustin Saunier. Just type in Dustin Saunier. And for here in Louisiana, we know Dustin Saunier. That's S-O-N-N-I-E-R. But in other parts of the world, you may not know that. So it is S O. N N I E R is the way you spell Dustin's last name. Be sure and check him out. It's an awesome song. That dude is so talented, so creative. I'm a, I'm a fan. All right, what else can I say? <laughs> With all of that said, guys, um, I want to thank my friends at uh, PLA Media for uh, connecting me with Mr. Travis Rice, who was my first guest here tonight on the show. I also want to thank my good friend out there, G DJ Fuzzy, for for hitting me up at the last minute yesterday and. Um, hooking me up with Brother Dustin Sonye. Like I said a while ago, support local music, support your local musicians, whether you're in Louisiana or whether you're in Tennessee, Texas, it don't make a damn. Just go out and support them. You know, that's what that's what it's all about. You know, feed their ego, clap for them, dance, buy their music. You know how it goes. All right, guys, that's just about it here for the Backstage with Hashtag RDM tonight here on the Radio Random Network. I want to thank you so much for joining me. 
And uh, don't forget, next week I'm going to be talking with country music icon, Mr. Daryl Worley. And also I'm going to be joined by uh, Texas act slinger, Mr. Dave Martinez. He's going to also be calling in as well to talk with me. And uh, be sure to visit RadioRandomNetwork.com for more information. And connect with us on social media as well. Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes and also Google Play. You can find all that information and all the links talked about on today's show at RadioRandomNetwork.com forward slash Dustin. That's right. That's D-U-S-T-I-N. Be sure and check it out. And uh, with all that said, thank you so much for the support. Don't forget to rate and review us. And I'm Russell Devin McLean, and I'll talk at you next week here on Radio Random Networks Backstage with hashtag RDM. Thank you so much for joining me. Same time, same place, next week. Sign up for the newsletter so you never miss an update. 